I'm working with an investor who's making her first move into the Cleveland market, and she's got several questions about exactly how the relationship with Holton Wise is going to be. Joanna from Boston, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I'm your host, James Wise. And, uh, folks, this is the show, <clears throat> you know, on Holton Wise TV. What we do, what we do here is we give you guys education on the real estate industry. Our goal is to provide you guys transparent education, not just that fluff, okay? We want to give you guys a real look at what you can expect, and then we do real deals with you. We are a real real estate brokerage. We are a real property management company. We have a real insurance company. We have real title companies, okay? This is what we do in this show. This is the show where we actually do it one-on-one. -on -one. My client today, uh, her name is Joanna. She's from Boston, and she's got 100 Gs to spend, okay? Now, Joanna, what you've said to me is you are looking uh, for a very low-risk investment. You don't want to deal with rough, tough tenants, messy tenants, right? We have the Tenants from Hell show here. And uh, anybody who hasn't seen that, in the show notes below, I'll put a link to that. Google Tenants from Hell, Holton Wise. Uh, we've got videos. <laughs> they're rough, okay? They're rough. They're tough. Real estate investing is a rough, tough industry, especially when you get into low-income properties. And again, our number one goal is to provide you all with transparency. So we don't hold anything back on that show. Some of our most popular shows uh, are on the Tenants from Hell show. So check that out. And Joanna, she's done some real estate investing, and she knows she doesn't want to deal with that, right? So she wants to deal with low-risk stuff. So I have found you a very low-risk rental property, Joanna, that I'm going to get into. But before I get into that, you had given me a list of questions uh, highlighting your concerns or questions you had with exactly how it's going to be working with us. And I, I just wanted to roll through your list first so we can get on the same page, okay? So the first thing you said to me, since I'm not living in Cleveland, I would like to have a general understanding of what the good zip codes are, meaning those uh, who will not get vandalized the moment you turn around, are safe to walk, have acceptable schools, uh, things of that nature. Okay, great question. And as a matter of fact, I've built a tool that helps investors with a lot of those questions. All right. If you go to HoltonWise.com, you click the Tools and Resources tab. You go right here, the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods. This is exactly what you want, Joanna. This is a comprehensive guide I have made where I've graded every neighborhood in the Cleveland area on an A to F scale. I even did a color-coded map, right? So dark green, we got our A neighborhoods. That's where the wealthy people live, right? You know, that's where your four, five, six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollar houses are. They're gonna be in the dark green neighborhoods. Then we got light green, which is B, yellow, which is C, then we got red, D and F, right? So the more risk. The prices get lower, but the risk gets higher. The more risk, that's red, right? That's your DNF. So what it did is I went through and I put all the stuff in there for you guys. This is going to give you all those answers. Median income. I also included the tax rate, which took care of another one of your questions. You said uh, your third question to me, what's with the taxes there? They seem to be twice as more than anywhere else, blah, 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 blah. So the tax rate right there. It's all in here, right? So. I put the tax rate, uh, like Garfield Heights, for instance. Garfield Heights is one of the highest tax places in the country, 4.13%. So if you have a property valued at $100,000 and it's in Garfield Heights, your taxes every year are going to be more than $4,000. However, if you have the same property and it's in Brook Park, as an example, it's only going to be... 2.31%, so your taxes would be 2300 right? So same property, $100,000 property in Garfield Heights, you're looking at four Gs a year. Place like Brook Park, you're looking at uh, 
2300 a year. So all those are in there for every single municipality, everything you guys are interested in. Cleveland itself is 2.79%, right? So all that info is in there. So your level of risk, uh, et cetera. With what you have told me, Joanna, you appear to be an investor who's going to want to be in a B-class neighborhood. The property I looked up for you is a B-class property. So that's going to take care of that. And we'll get into that shortly. Now, another question you had is uh, you want to know about the POS. I've actually made a video specifically about the POS. So I want you to go ahead and pause this video right now. In the show notes, there's a video that explains the POS process. Some municipalities have them, some do not. So check that out. Uh, another question you had is, is it safe or advisable for you to take your four-year-old to Cleveland for vacation? You know, you're looking at uh, safety issues. So for that question, I would go back to the ultimate guide. Like, you don't want to necessarily be walking around with a four-year-old uh, at midnight on a Saturday night in a D or F class neighborhood. I would say that's, you know... That's probably dangerous. Do people do it? Yes, of course. But if you're asking me, like, you know, where is the crime at? You know, if you're trying to avoid areas with high crime, your D neighborhoods, your F neighborhoods, they're going to have high crime. Now, likewise, if you're in, like, a, a fancy old suburb, which is an A-class neighborhood, you don't even, uh, a lot of the people there, they, they don't feel the need to lock their doors, that type of thing. So, you know, for information on the level of crime and all that jazz, I would just ask you to refer back to the ultimate guide, right? The greater Cleveland area is a huge place, right? You know, certain neighborhoods, certain cities, they're going to be night and day compared to each other, right? It's not all going to be similar, right? So that answer will definitely vary based upon the level of neighborhood you're in. And uh, last question before we get into your property. Oh, two more questions, actually. Uh, you had asked me, does it cost anything to have me be the buyer's agent or does that get covered by the commission once the property sells? Uh, the majority of the funds to have us act as your buyer's agent are covered by the commission on the sale. The way we do this program, right, the MLS Search and Analysis Show, you guys know you go to the Property Search for Sale tab, you click a package, right? Joanna, you got the 10 property package. We will analyze, give you a video analysis on 10 properties, okay? You've paid for that. We're going to do that. Then after you get our information, it's up to you. You could take that information and go directly to the listing agent, or you could have us represent you as your buyer's agent. If the property that you decide to move forward with, if you want us to represent you as your buyer's agent and the property is listed on the MLS, we will work off of the commission. You do not have to pay us anything additional except for every time we write a contract with anybody, there's a $295 flat fee, $295 flat fee brokerage charge, which is going to be all you'd have to pay if the property is listed on the MLS. We will take that $295 as well as the commission that the listing agent is paying, and that will be all the money that uh, goes to us for the sale. So it's almost free, $295 for us to handle the transaction for you on your behalf. If, for instance, you sent us a property that is a for sale by owner property, uh, someone would need to pay us 3% if you'd like us in the deal. Whether that is you or whether that is the seller, that is up to you guys. So if the property is listed on the MLS, you don't need to worry about anything. It's just once the, you know, at closing with your settlement, when you're paying your title fees and all that jazz, you'll pay $295 to us. And then the rest of our payment will be paid by the listing agent. Uh, you know, things are always different too. Sometimes they, they give us 3%. Sometimes it's a flat fee. Uh, the properties are available in the MLS. Uh, so, you know, whatever these other brokerages are offering, it's already been, you know, explained to us. And sometimes it's really good. Sometimes the payments, you know, they're not very high, but we're okay with that. We, we know what we're getting into. That's also part of the reason why, you know, we actually sell the shows in the first place. So we're covered uh, from a payment standpoint. Our services are basically covered when they're on the MLS. When they're not though, uh, if it's a for sale by owner situation, uh, we would need to get a 3% payment. So in that situation, it would probably be you paying us, okay? That covers that. And then the last question you had for me uh, was essentially your questions on property management and things of that nature. So what I want you to do there, okay, just go up here to the uh, FAC. We got really good facts on Holton Wise, okay? We have facts for everybody, for, you know, people that are just regular, you know, uh, mom and pops uh, just living out in the Cleveland area. They want to sell their property. They became accidental landlords. We have facts for them. We have facts for our tenants, and we have facts for investors like you guys. So we'll click on that. 
And the very first thing we have, because again, folks, I can't stress this enough to you. Transparency is our number one thing. Our full property management agreement, that's the very first thing on our FAC. It's available for you. You could download that. It's a PDF. It will go over every single penny that we charge you, you know, just off the rip. It's essentially 10% is the PM fee. One month's rent is the leasing fee. Uh, evictions, maintenance, all of that, of course, would be extra. All of the pricing for that is in there, so you can go ahead and read that. And then while you're in the fact, you just want to cruise down through everything else we got. We start you out at the buying process. You know, we take you through leasing, we take you through property management, repairs, all the way to closing your account. We have everything on there for you guys, because at Holton Wise, we do it all in-house, right? We're going to give you the education. Then we're going to help you buy the property, acting as your buyer's agent. Then we'll onboard your property into our property management. We will fix up the property. doesn't matter what you need to do. If you just need to paint it, if we need to replace the roof, replace the driveway, if we got to tear the house down, we can do all that. You're going to have all that done for you under one roof at Holton Wise. Then we'll advertise it. We'll get you new tenants. If those tenants become a problem, we'll evict those tenants, and we'll start the process over. And when you're eventually ready to exit the Cleveland market, we will sell all of your properties for you on the other popular show we have here, the Investment Properties for Sale show. So how all of those things work out, the costs for all of those things, everything we have, we've given you both a written answer and video answers for the majority of those processes. So everything is out there. It's all up front, guys. So definitely check out that fact. You know, what we're big on, can't stress enough, it's transparency, right? We can't control what is going to happen right? When you own these properties, right? We can never stop all risks, right? It's property management. There's going to be problems. There's going to be issues. Sometimes tenants don't pay. Bad stuff is going to happen. That's part of this business. We can't necessarily control that. We can't eliminate that, but we will tell you what we will do to mitigate those risks, to reduce the frequency of those risks, and we will tell you how we will react in every situation and what we're going to charge you for that reaction. That's what we do, man. It's all about transparency. We try to give it out to you guys up front. I don't want you guys starting to pay us a little bit of money. We start working together. And then, like, this thing just hits you. Like, the, the blindfold comes off, and there's all these processes you weren't aware of. No, we push that all out for you up front. It's all on the fact. Every penny I'm going to charge you, it's out there. So go ahead and read my property management agreement. If you think the prices are too high and you want them to be lower, you can go to hell because they're not going to go any lower. So don't try to negotiate with me because those prices are set in stone. We're happy with those prices. We believe the value we provide for those prices is exactly where it needs to be. So we're just going to show you our hand, y'all. That's what we do. This is what we do. This is what we charge for it. If you'd like to move forward, great. If not, that's okay. There's a lot of other property management options out there. And of course, watching Holton Wise TV is free so you can continue to learn. So, Joanna... Uh, those were great questions, and again, you're doing 10 properties with me, uh, 10, 10 videos, so if uh, the responses to those questions uh, and you reading that fact, if those elicit more questions, when we go to do your next show, please let me know, and uh, you just give me a bullet point list like you did here, and I will go through them for you in the show, okay? So uh, great questions, keep them coming. I want you to have a full understanding of what working with us is going to be like. So... With all of that said, Joanna, let's get into this property and why, based upon your questions, I chose this property for you. 918 South Green, South Euclid, 44121. Been on the market a long time, 131 days, listed at $92,000. Now, this is already a tenant-occupied property. As far as the photos, we don't have a lot, okay? It's just going to be some exterior stuff. Now... That is not necessarily a cause of concern, okay? Let me read you what the listing agent said. Investment opportunity, tenant occupied property on a lease through October 31st, 2020, paying 1080 plus utilities. This 1463 square foot house sits on a 9,152 square foot lot and features three bedrooms and two baths. This home has been beautifully taken care of, a wonderful investment property. Now, in addition, like the, the showing notes, they said they're not doing any buyer showings. Tenants a little nervous about COVID. That makes sense. Don't think that it's necessarily a red flag that they haven't given us the interior pictures. I don't think they're hiding anything. What you guys got to understand is 
dealing with tenants, bothering tenants, going inside the tenants' homes at any point is an issue. It's a problem. That's why we sell properties the way we do here on Holton Wise TV. We don't even do buyer showings on occupied properties. How we actually show the properties is on the Investment Properties for Sale show. So check that show out. We go in there one time, film a video tour. Don't waste any time, right? That's the most efficient way to do it, which is why we are the number one seller of rentals in Cleveland. Trying to sell these occupied properties in a traditional standpoint where people are like, hey, I think I want to buy that rental. And then you got to have the seller talk to the or the buyer would talk to the buyer's agent who talked to the seller's agent who talked to the tenant who would then tell you when they could go ahead and let them in. And then you got to go through the whole fucking daisy chain again. And then somebody changed their mind and it goes through the whole fuck. It's a fucking nightmare. It doesn't work. It's fucking stupid. And that's why we don't do it. And that's why it's not a red flag to me that they're not allowing showings and we don't have pictures, but it's a red flag to other people. A lot of other people, they're not used to this investment game, and they think that's the only way you could buy properties. They automatically think there must be a red flag, so they are passing up on this property, which is why it's still been on the market for 131 days. It's already tenant-occupied, and we're going to get an inspection. We're going to do our due diligence. You're not just bl buying it blind, right? We're going to put a contract out, get the seller to accept it, and it's going to be contingent on a home inspection that you're going to pay for. You're going to pay a third-party home inspector to do that. That way the seller knows you're serious. They know that you're willing to pay a few hundred bucks to send an inspector in there. You're committed to the deal. They only got to bother their tenant one time, which is why I think I can get you a discount. I do not want you to pay 92000 I only want you to pay 80000 for this. All those things I mentioned, right? I think that's scaring other buyers away. I think they're afraid of that. I think they're thinking they're these big red flags, but they don't understand this business how I do. They don't deal with these rentals how I do. So because of that, that's why they're on the market 131 days, and that's why I want you to be able to pick it up for $80,000. And what does that even get us? Well, the tenant, as I said, they're already paying 1080, three bed, two bath, and they said they're doing the utilities. It uh, doesn't include the water sewer, but it does include the gas and electric, right? So 1080 comes in, 12,296 is what comes in for the year. Of that 1080 a month, I anticipate you spending 665 on average to operate the property. And that's going to include that water sewer because they said they're paying utilities. But in Cleveland, that typically means they're paying gas and electric. You as the property owner need to pay water sewer. More information on why is in that fact I was talking about earlier. And that's accounting for repairs and maintenance, vacancy and non-payment, CapEx, all that jazz. We're accounting for all that. Should be 665 is what goes out. Should be four fifteen on average comes in a month, almost five thousand dollars a year in profit. You go ahead and you just finance this, right? It's uh, probably in pretty good condition. Of course, we're going to verify that through your home inspection, but you're only going to need to put down twenty thousand dollars. You you keep a lot of your hundred thousand dollars in your pocket. Go ahead and keep eighty thousand dollars in your pocket for the next deal and the deal after. Just put down twenty k. We'll get you a mortgage for the other sixty k. Anybody who needs loans. Send us an email, sales at holtonwise.com. We got a list of lenders nationwide, okay? Nationwide lenders, guys. 30 year loans, 25% down, low interest, fixed interest. Best game in town, okay? So they're going to give you that $60,000 loan. That's going to take $252 off of your net profit, leaving you with an average of $163 a month, which is a 9.8% return on your money. And I haven't even really brought uh, up the neighborhood as much. This neighborhood, South Euclid, it's going to fit right into what I think you want, Joanna, which is a low-risk investment, a place that's not necessarily dangerous, not necessarily high-income and fancy like those A-class neighborhoods because there ain't no rental market in four or $500,000 houses in Cleveland, right? You go into these really nice high-end A-class neighborhoods, it's like 99% owner-occupied stuff. There's no rental business there, guys. I mean... For those kind of prices and those kind of numbers, I'm sure you could find something in your backyard in Boston to invest in, right? You come to the Cleveland market for the lower income stuff, properties under 100K. So this is going to be in one of the nicer neighborhoods where the prices fall in line to that. You don't have to worry about like gunshots or getting robbed or walking your dog and your four-year-old daughter or something of that nature, right? So you should have some pretty low risk tenants, low sets of problems. They should be exactly what you're looking for, which is why I picked this one for you. So Joanna, let us know if you'd like us to write the offer. We will. Again, I think we could take the fact that COVID's out there. People are nervous about showings. Tenants ain't letting anybody in there. 
Other people are a little concerned that they don't know what's going on with the property. I think a lot of people are making a lot of issues uh, and, you know, scaring themselves about this property, thinking they're hiding something. And I don't think that's the case. I just think that's natural tenant behavior, especially during a pandemic. So we're going to use that to our advantage, though, and try to pick it up for 80 grand, which would be a hell of a deal. So if you want us to move forward, write this offer for you. We can just reply to this uh, private email. Everybody else, again, I told you earlier in the show, Go to uh, Property Search for Sale tab on HoltonWise.com if you'd like to work with us in the same way Joanna is doing. That's it for today's show, y'all. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys, put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Feal, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price to rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. RentTech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With RentTech Direct, you'll also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and RentTech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.